I, I know this is not question period, <laughs> but I want to thank you for taking on this role, for showing real leadership in this critical area as an opposition member, uh, and others may want to say something, but I, I, I have a question. Are you willing to make a commitment to be transparent also about the lack of well-being, the lack of morale, the high long-term disability rates in your staff, and the, the very conditions that are going to turn around the kind of problems we're seeing in our children, at least with respect to the services you're able to provide. Are you willing to make public some of the corporate surveys of, of staff and the long-term disability rate, the EAP uh, drawn? Uh, we need to know more about how you're addressing some of these fundamentals in the department that clearly is showing its own problems of suffering, disability, and who knows, suicide. Uh, well, there's absolutely no question that working in a lot of difficult situations uh, would have a real serious impact on human beings. I haven't uh, analyzed all the data that you that you're speaking of, but um, if there's ways in which we can make data available to help make things better, yeah. But look at the at the end of the day here, folks. I, we we so often forget something, and that is, there's human beings that have to deliver all of this stuff, and they have families of their own and lives and difficulties of their own sometimes, and they got to be the ones that work in really difficult situations, and that's not easy, and they're human beings dealing with tough situations involving other human beings so they're not they're not perfect and i uh, hearing from a lot of uh, um, our strong first nations women here they were telling me about some of the stories of what happens with workers when god forbid something happens to a child in care and that worker who's involved in that community and the effect on that worker and the entire organization in that community because uh, some because something negative happened to a child who was in care it could have been accidental it could have been anything but still that very real effect on a worker so these are you know uh, these are pieces that we have to look at in the long term these are not things that you're going to turn around overnight i guarantee you that but these are things we have to look at in the long term and this is part of the commitments i've made to look at the ongoing education the training and the empowerment and most importantly getting rid of the culture of fear. Thank you again. Um, to close...